Moo pup, baby moo pup. What are you doing? You being cute? Good job. All right. We're going back to our roots of pouring life today. We're doing an acrylic pour. It's been how long since we've done one of these? Like seriously, more than a minute. So our super not secret secret is Floetrol. You can get it at anywhere online. I think our jug came from Home Depot. We do paint, water, Floetrol, and WD-40. That's the only secret that I can tell you for sale. Sales? Skatey. Sales. The colors we're using is apparently all of them. Pucker. Focus. Focus. Permanent blue violet. We're not using this color. Oh, we did? Okay. I used that color. Well, you're the only one. You put it right here. I need the water. Water check. Some yellow by these people. And this color. You remember how it turned not pretty in our last one? That was with resin. Hopefully it does better in just an acrylic pour so how much of what are you doing i don't know i'm just kind of playing it by ear right now just, mm. you, be too thin. you want it just so it flows off a popsicle stick oh that's the one we don't like to use also you guys can i just tell you remember that Y'all, it's glass. I know, my country came out. I know, but like I drove through there once and it stuck. But I can't even tell you, I wish. And it was cold and rainy and humid and this resin did amazingness. Back to this. I think you did make it a little bit too thin. Moo, what are you doing? Being adorable? Nailed it. Oh, we had some resin here. Yeah. Y'all, we grossly overestimate, not grossly, but a little bit overestimated how much resin we would need for the countertop that I will also be posting soon. I just don't think you're that good at math. She thinks she's good at math, but she's really not. Are you saying that with love? I'm saying. Just say yes. All of it with love. Okay, good. While he's coughing up a lung, let's see what's happening in Dallas today. It's gorgeous. Ugh, this window's heavy. It's a beautiful day in the neighborhood. Try not to drop the phone. Fair Park's over there. Downtown's right there. I'm working on this piece. It's going to be the death of me. R.I.P. Me. So typically we do like water and acrylic and half flow troll. So whatever amount you have of water and acrylic, put that much of flow troll. Flow troll is great to make it more fluid without ruining 
the depth of the color of your pigment and also it helps the, your paint not crack. If you've done acrylic pours before, you know how frustrating it is when you have a beautiful piece and it cracks. I think we probably have some somewhere that have cracked. Nope. Nope. But we do. I think that one right there has cracked. Anyways. And we like to put our WD-40, or you can use silicone, in basically everything except for the white. We tried this one. It was a fail. Best one that we've found so far is just regular WD-40. Just a regular cup, that's too big. Want a party cup? No! This one? Don't forget your that. Now, from what I've read, the more you mix it in, the smaller the cells. The least you mix it in, the bigger the cells. Some people even like to put a little squirt something, something in their dirty cup, cup and like roll it around. I don't know about that, but just what I've seen. Also, if you like white cells, you wanna put white in the bottom. It's heaviest, so when you flip your cup upside down, it'll try to sink. And because of surface tension and other science words, that's what makes cells. In other science words. Yeah, I can't remember any of the other science words, but I know that that's how, how come science works. Anybody else find that they have more beautiful things in their dirty cup cup than like their piece or even the runoff? That used to frustrate me to no end. No end. It's just such a pretty flower. It looks like a hibiscus. Really hope that gray doesn't take over. Uh, uh, sure will. The white is a little thick. This is gonna be like way too much. Do you want a bigger canvas? A nice little canvas. Oh well, as they say, YOLO! Jeez. <laughs> YOLO. Yeah, yayo. Is yayo yay okay? Moo, it's fine. He's growling at the perimeter. The perimeter. Mm -hmm. Do you need a bigger surface? Pins. So he's decided to make it a diptych, and that's not a made up word because I know I like to do that a lot, but that's what two canvases into one painting is. It's a diptych. You've probably heard of triptychs. This is with just two canvases. Boom, your knowledge bomb for the day. Also pro tip, put pins in the bottom of your canvas so that you have something to grip onto when you move your canvases around. Grip onto? Yeah. Um, what do you mean grip onto? Yeah, you have like something to hold on to. Like, okay. No. I said it wrong. Hold on to it. You don't hold on to the pins, but it, it helps to put off. your hand under it. it so you it can put it there. in it. You can put your hand in it. This one. 
It's hard when you love me, huh? It is. Very difficult. All right, we're going to post this whether it's pretty or not pretty. I don't know. Maybe this might not be. It might be too much. Let's see. Undip tick. Back to one tick. All that pain. Torch it. What is up with that fucking gray? Are you kidding me? That part's pretty. The yellow spots are pretty. Jesus. The sides are awesome. Mm -hmm. What is up? Like none of these colors are coming through. Just swipe it. I feel like it'd be a lot more beautiful if that gray wasn't in there. It's not like I put a lot of gray in there. That's pretty. You need a rag to wipe that off with? 